How to Stop Feeling Guilty for No Reason. Guilt is an emotion that compels humans to make peace with other people, fix a mistake, or change bad behavior. Usually guilt helps us to maintain a happy life. One, however, when guilt sticks around for no obvious reason, this is a problem. Find out why you feel guilty and then take steps to get rid of it. Assessing your guilt. Decide if you didn't do something but wanted to. Sometimes you may feel guilty because you contemplated doing something that violates your personal morals. Even if you didn't act on it, you may feel guilty for even considering it. If you're feeling guilty for no obvious reason, you might have considered doing something you believe is wrong, but quickly pushed it out of your mind. The guilt might have stayed even though the thought left. You might have forgotten the immoral thing you considered doing, such as cheating on your spouse or stealing from your friend. Sit and think about it to recall if you did want to do something like this. If you did have a thought like this, take a moment to forgive yourself. Then ask the person you thought about doing wrong against to forgive you. After you have made amends, let it go by not blaming yourself and focusing on the present. 3. Evaluate yourself for thinking you did something wrong. Sometimes we feel guilty for thinking we did something wrong when we didn't actually do anything. For example, maybe you wished something bad would happen to your ex's new partner, and then they got in a car accident. Even though you didn't actually do anything, you can feel like you caused their accident. If you feel guilt for no apparent reason, perhaps you thought you did something wrong and then forgot about it. Try to remember if you have ever wished bad would happen to someone and then it did. If you can't talk to that person, take measures to forgive yourself. Keep in mind that you may also be judging yourself too harshly. For example, you might be thinking that you said something rude or did something insulting, when in reality the other person does not think that at all. Consider survivor's guilt. You might feel guilty because you survived a traumatic event that affected someone else negatively. Even if this is not something you think about every day, it can be a cause of constant guilt. Identify survivor's guilt by noticing if you feel sad when you perceive that you are doing better in life than others. For example, if you survived an armed robbery, then you might have guilt when hearing about someone who was killed in an armed robbery. If you feel guilty for surviving the robbery because someone else did not, then you might have survivor's guilt. If you identify survivor's guilt in yourself, you need to take some time to process your negative emotions and forgive yourself. Talk to someone about what happened, such as a psychologist. Realize that guilt can be caused by childhood events. You may have been traumatized as a child, whether abused over a long period of time or because of a specific event. You may also have been treated unfairly while growing up. All of these events can have lasting effects on you as an adult, even giving you feelings of guilt that seem to have no source. Think about your childhood to determine if something that happened then is causing your guilt. If you can identify something from your childhood that leads to guilt, such as abuse or a traumatic event, seek the help of a professional psychologist. Determine if you have neurotic guilt. Sometimes you feel guilty for no reason because you have neurotic guilt, or guilt that is much stronger than a situation calls for. You might feel guilty for things you have no control over. Neurotic guilt might occur because you feel bad for not being better at something. You might also feel neurotic guilt because you don't want to do something others believe you should. Neurotic guilt can also arise from self-doubt. If you have neurotic guilt, you should take measures to forgive yourself. You also might to seek out a psychologist for counseling to help you cope and overcome the guilt. Determine if you did something wrong. Knowing the cause of guilt can help you resolve it. If you've looked at these techniques and you still feel guilty, maybe you need to admit there is a real reason you feel guilty. You may have forgotten about what you did. Sit down and think about your actions over the last few weeks and months to discover if you have done something wrong. This can explain why you feel guilty. You may need to verbalize your thoughts through writing or talking to help you remember committing any wrongful acts. Write down your actions in a bullet list, or talk to a friend to help you remember. Maybe ask people who are close to you if they can remember you doing anything you should feel guilty about. If you can't think of anything you did wrong, then you can stop giving in to the guilty feelings. Tell yourself that you did nothing wrong and focus on the present. 9. If you did do something wrong, go apologize and ask for forgiveness. Ask yourself if you might be depressed. Depression can cause you to feel guilty for no reason as well. Think about whether or not you might be depressed. Depression can take many forms, but you will likely have had ongoing feelings of sadness, loss of interest in things you once enjoyed, changes in your eating and sleeping, and feelings of hopelessness and or helplessness. Consider feelings of guilt along with these symptoms and talk to your doctor or a mental health professional if you think you might be depressed. Feelings of guilt may take many forms in depression. For example, you might feel guilty about not meeting your monthly sales quota at work, even if no one else in your office was able to meet their target either. Or, you might feel guilty for not washing the dishes before going to bed, even if you did lots of other housework and you were too exhausted to do anything else. 